you, you're promoting total abstinence. Total abstinence, yeah. How practical a message is that for today's young kids? Uh, it's very practical because I think the stereotype is that everybody's out there doing it. You know, that um, the image is because sex, so, sort of speak, I guess would we'll say it sells, you know, because of in the media, from uh, print, whatever. It gives you the impression that everyone's doing it, so it's encouraging, I think, the young people that this is just a normal way of, of acting, a normal behavior, but not everyone's really doing it. There is a, people out there, there's a lot of young people that are really trying to withstand. Maybe they haven't been sexually pure their whole life, but a lot of them are trying to change their mind and say, I don't want to give into that peer pressure. I can make a decision on my own. But what do you tell kids who, who, who don't have much mm -hmm. and say, hey, why shouldn't I enjoy my own sexuality? It's one of the few things I have access to. Well, because it is that. It's something very precious. It's something that's very, I think it's the most highest valuable gift that a person can have is their own body. And that's really how I look at it personally, is that, you know, you need to take care of your body, take care of yourself and not just give it around or pass it around like butter out of the table or anything of that nature. When you tell kids that, what do they say? Well, some of them are saying, well, you know, I understand what you're saying, but it's hard. You know, I mean, my friends are telling me this, my boyfriend is telling me that, I'm getting pressured here and there, you know, but I say, hey, if, if I can sort of abstain NBA for nine years and I'm not practicing sex, and I say, it's probably a little bit easier for you than me. You practice what you preach. Um, you've abstained totally. Yes, I have. You don't think that odd? Um, and today, by the norm, yeah, of course, I think it is, because most people and the stereotype athletes especially are, in general, promoting otherwise, you know, hey, have fun, you're only living for so long, go on out there and, uh, you know, make as many babies as you can, it seems like, and that's not only from athletes, but it's from yeah. just men We're not general. talking about having, we're not talking about making babies, we're talking about having, having sex here. I mean, it, it, it is, it is a part of life's experience. Right. You, you don't think you've missed anything in life as a result? No. No, I don't. I don't think I missed anything. I mean, if you look at uh, the potentials, you know, out there, or what I could have missed, you know, maybe uh, the lady I was probably with, probably maybe being pregnant, you know, maybe uh, some particular sexual transmitted disease, just a question in my mind, you know, or just really emotionally giving myself to somebody that I, I know I'm not going to be with for the rest of my life. I don't think I missed out on anything. I think it's worth the wait. How hard has it been to, to, to abstain? Hey, see, I mean, we, we've all heard, you know, Will Chamberlain's claim that he slept with 20,000 women and, and Magic Johnson, women by the thousands. Um, basketball players live in life's yeah. fast lane. There, there are a lot of young ladies and a lot of road stops. How hard is it? How hard is it? Um, it really just depends on the individual. You know, if your appetite is great, then, you know, it's going to be as hard. It's going to be hard as you, you name it. But for me, for someone who's really not looking for that, uh, it's pretty easy. I don't mean it's very easy, but it's pretty easy because I'm not really out there. I'm not trying to get close to the fire because if I do, I feel I probably will get burned because I'm not a superhuman being. I'm someone that can fall, I can slip, I can stumble, and definitely I'll make mistakes. What are your teammates, what do the other NBA players <laughs> <No>. <laughs> make of this? I can only imagine. Um, well, there are those that will say, man, you are crazy. You know, you're crazy. What you're saying is just, you know, you're out of this world. It's very unrealistic for yourself as being an NBA player, as well as what you're trying to tell the other young people. They're going to do it. But then there are those that really try and encourage and say, hey, all these other things they're seeing, they must not be working because you look at what's happening with the single parents. You know, you look at as far as even the, the children as babies having babies. Hey, we got to give them another message out there. So I applaud what you're trying to do. And you hear a lot today about practicing safe sex. But if there was such a thing as safe sex, then why are so many young people paying such a high price? The numbers of unwanted pregnancies, abortion, sexually transmitted diseases, including the HIV virus, are increasing dramatically each and every year. Instead of playing Russian roulette with your life, isn't it about time you try something new? The only true form of safe sex, the only 100% guaranteed way that you will not get a sexually transmitted disease or an unwanted pregnancy, is to abstain from sex until the point that you get married. With the Lakers, and the perception is that the typical NBA life has this opportunity where there's fast cars, lots of money, and lots of women. I've seen the challenges and the pitfalls, and I've seen some guys really succumb to it. But for me, the challenge has always been, you know, not get distracted, you know, by those things. And I wanted to get married. And then I met Veronique, sharing with her and letting her know this is who I am, this is what I believe. And she really appreciated that. My heart's always been 
to help kids. And it started with my own nieces and nephews. AC Green Youth Foundation uh, is going on now 18 years. The mission of the whole foundation, it is abstinence. We want to see kids know the values of protecting your body, keeping your body pure, not just sexually, but also from drugs, from violence. The other biggest component is we also teach a basketball camp that's been going on now 18 years. My goal is how they start on Monday is not going to be the same on Friday. And so this constant instillment of character development is what I'm constantly telling these kids. It's amazing to me how you set such an incredible moral standard, not only just for sex, but you set a moral standard for your life. I, I said to myself <laughs> as I read, read through your material, how did this man go through all of these years, 16 years, Yes. how did you go through them without being <laughs> coming under the influence of the worldly aspects? How did you do that? Well, you know, God's grace is so sufficient. I mean, we know we're sin abounds. His grace will abound even much more and higher. We, we're always around temptation. We're always around the atmosphere of the dark elements. We can't get out of it because we're in this world. But when your heart is in your desire is to really want to know and see how you can please God and please Jesus, God will not only protect you, but he will give you the victory and the, and the, the power to overcome those circumstances, the elements you Temptations find yourself in. Temptations must have been great. Oh, great, Morris, they were always there. You always have temptation, absolutely. But you know, the scripture I learned when I was 17 years old, that very day I said yes to Jesus, it was Matthew 6, which really says, seek first, kingdom. seek not second, but seek first the kingdom of God and all of its righteousness and all other things will be added unto you. You know, people are wondering, you know, they hear mm -hmm. 16 years, you went all through this abstinence. Mm -hmm. What's your message? to the young people watching today? You know, we, we develop a curriculum called Game Plan with inside of our AC Green Youth Foundation. And Game Plan is one that centers around character development, helping kids develop the character, the self-control, help them to understand, you know what, you can have the victory. You don't have to give in the peer pressure. You don't have to be confused by the media in some way. You have, you have to be able to understand what the media is suggesting to you to watch right. as opposed to what's really good for you to watch. And this curriculum game plan is going into almost over 100,000 students' hands just this year alone, Morris. In the middle school to high school. How much? Over 100,000 wow. kids. Yes, wow. yes. And are you... Talk to young people. What, how would you advise them if, if they are interested in trying to, to be a professional athlete? You know, I would say continue to go for the dream. Just as you said, I mean, you, you go for your passion. You out there, you, you want to be a professional, you know, you want to be an entertainer, whatever the dream might right. be, I don't care the, the profession, the occupation, don't stop, don't lose your desire, don't lose your passion, be the best, be fully equipped, prepare yourself, do as much as you possibly can and just really allow and, and let the Lord really show, lead and guide and direct you because the vocation needs a good witness, mm -hmm. okay? I'm a perfect prime example in the sense of a person who had done extraordinary things only by the grace of God. Amen. That's all that it takes. It's just the, the ability to let God use you where you are. I come from a small town, Portland, Oregon, mm. um, in the wonderful state there itself. But at the same time, you know, I'm just willing. I was always ready and wanted to be used by God. But why? Because my journey, my life is not over because basketball is over. Correct. And so the identity is not just inside of that. So right. if you land that wonderful career, always remember, and I always say, you know, you got to be able to have the character sustain where the talent is mm -hmm. and to be able to surpass it and right. keep you there. Amen. It's good word. Good word. Hey, namaste, y'all. It's the white magical tiger. I hope you're having a beautiful day. So how about that story? Uh, AC Green. 16 years celibate in the National Basketball Association, the NBA. And as I was walking over here to this, uh, to this spot to film this video, I was just like, honestly, I'm not even sure if I could do that, y'all, to, to be in that position where all these like basketball superstars are having all these women throw themselves at them 
um, and to to stay true to his faith and stay strong and to go 16 NBA seasons, and not only that, to be like one of the best players in the NBA. They nicknamed him the Iron Man, and it's like, look at that. I mean, the C-man retention made him the Iron Man. And you can see this in a lot of athletes, uh, if, you, if you start to follow this, that especially with like boxing or fighting, they, they won't orgasm for like the first, like the six weeks leading up to it or the three months leading up to it. Um, I believe there was a quote for about like Muhammad Ali where they like they found out that he was uh, practicing semen retention and someone's like yeah that guy's gonna win it all um, because the competition most of the competition they don't have the discipline um, even if they want to do this like there's a lot of men that want to do this but they literally don't have the discipline to do it it, it, it takes a, a unique man um, and the key part, I feel like, in AC Green's success is towards the end of that video where he starts talking about God. And I'm telling y'all, for y'all that are struggling and you want to be as successful as he was, uh, as some of these yogis, there's a quote that says essentially, I think it's from uh, Swami Vivekananda, the yogi. He says essentially, if you don't let one drop of semen uh, leave your body, you essentially become enlightened, something like that. And so on my journey with this, uh, as many of y'all know, I started watching porn when I was 10 years old. Around 17, 18, I learned about NoFap on Reddit, doing the 90-day challenge. And it wasn't until I was 25 years old that I was able to complete the 90 days of no porn, no masturbation, no orgasm. It took me eight years to complete this challenge. And the turning point was uh, when I started praying to God. And, and I'm telling y'all that, that, that that's like the focus of my, of my videos recently is that if you truly want to be successful with this and successful in life, uh, we need God. And yeah, a lot of people might say like, oh, if you have a bunch of money, you're successful. And it's like, yeah, but then there's all these scriptures that say like, uh, it's easier for a camel to walk through the eye of a needle than it is for a rich man to enter to the kingdom of heaven. Um, another one says the root of all evil is the love of money. Not necessarily money, but the love of money. And honestly, a lot of this financial success is um, it's great and all, but money is just a tool. And for, in the right hands, it can be used for good. In the wrong hands, it can be used for greed. And, and, and essentially, the root of all evil is greed, is the love of money. And it's not true success. It's success to one degree, but real success, the whole point of why we're here, why are we here? We're here to go to heaven. This is a test. We're in a game. And the way I look at it is like, you can't serve two masters. You either serve God or you serve the devil. And uh, unfortunately, it seems that most people in this world worship the devil. And that's why they have that scripture where it says broad and wide is the road to destruction. And many people are on it. Straight and narrow is the way, the way of salvation. Very few people on that straight and narrow. And uh, yeah, sadly, uh, People aren't focused on the right things. And I can tell you, if you're watching this video and you're focusing on the semen retention, the nofap, the monk mode, becoming a better version of yourself, you're on the path to heaven because uh, it's a straight and narrow path. It's not easy. It's not the broad and wide road that most people are on. Uh, very, it takes a special man to, to get this calling and to want to follow it, to follow through with it. A lot of men hear about this and they're like, oh yeah, a lot of them want to bash it. They'd be like, that's ridiculous. So you, you should you should be watching porn. You should be going out having sex. And that's the easy thing. Those are the easy things to do. The difficult thing is to discipline ourselves and wait till marriage. Or if we have the calling to be a monk for the rest of our life, that's that's a, that's the, that's a bit more of intense of a calling. Um, but anyways, I find that I found this uh, AC Green very inspiring, and I love the essentially his relationship with God. And I know that, that if, if he did not have a relationship with God, I highly doubt he would have been able to, to pass all these tests, all these temptations. Um, and then it's very beautiful that uh, the year after he retired, uh, he got married as a virgin. And I'm assuming, I imagine he married a virgin as well. Um, I can't imagine someone in that position settling for anything less. And yeah, it is settling. A lot of these women aren't worth it unless they have a truly repentant heart uh i i don't recommend marrying any of these women most of them their body counts are way too high they've lost the ability to, the, the the ability to pair bond um they've been broken too many times and um 
And I, I really feel like the only way to heal that is through the power of Jesus Christ and them truly have a repentant heart. But a lot of them are too stubborn, they're too prideful, and they want their feminist, like, strong, independent, sexual freedom thing, and, and they won't repent. They won't repent. And so it's very unfortunate. So we're pretty much left with repentant Christian women who realize those things were wrong or just virgins. Uh, essentially in this day and age, it's, it's pretty much like finding a unicorn. Um, and, and so I think it's really important to be on this snowfap journey. And I really feel like that kind of woman that I'm explaining would be a gift from God. And unless we're on that same vibration, I don't think God would like let one of his beautiful daughters be married to us unless we meet them at a similar energy. Like if we're really gonna marry a virgin, well, we need to become like a virgin ourselves. And I mean, you look at AC Green, this dude, he went 16 years, 16 years, had all his success, was super focused on his mission. And uh, yeah, I think it's very inspirational. That's which I'm, why I'm making this video here uh, and why I'm dedicating this channel to this because I really feel like this is the foundation. Like if we, if we can be focused on this, um, this can make us, successful in other aspects of our life and I feel like this is the area that men need the most help and especially the young men um, especially myself when I was 10 years old I wish I had someone like this uh, sharing this info so that uh, I didn't have to experience the things that I experienced and I could have saved, my, saved myself a lot of pain and heartache and I'm hoping you all can learn from my mistakes as well and so yeah if you uh, want to chat with me you can hit me up on uh, telegram uh, my username is white magic tiger I'm offering donation based phone calls and if you want to talk about anything if you want me to pray for you because a lot of this stuff is spiritual and uh, a lot of it is because the reason why we can't control ourselves even though like we want we want to be successful at this so badly a reason why we can't do it is because we're literally possessed with sexually transmitted demons but fortunately through the power of repentance um, Jesus Christ can cast these demons out of us and it's about it's a it's a combination of having faith in him um uh, repenting of our sins uh realizing that this is not the way this is not the Tao, um and, and true liberation y'all true freedom can come from this and i'm um, just speaking from my own personal experience of really struggling to be successful on the nofap journey to developing a relationship with god and finding it a lot easier to be successful and i want the same for you and so if you want someone to chat to about this or about anything in general, it could be uh, fasting, dieting, exercise, uh, the politics of the world, World War III, the apocalypse, uh, whatever it is. There's a, there's a lot of things going on or being the black sheep of the family. Uh, yeah, I, I'm here to chat with you. Uh, so just hit me up on Telegram, White Magic Tiger, and may God bless all y'all. Namaste. God, Krishna, Christ, Guru. God, Krishna, Christ, Guru. Krishna, 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 Krishna,